Oh yeah. What is up, y'all? This is Sean again with another Stage of the Media video. Thanks for coming back to the channel as always. Got another, like I say in a, in a previous video, I have a couple things that I want to take care of. Um, one in the garage and one on my car. But today we're going to be doing something special. We're going to be putting this, which is, I'll crack it open for you guys. Let's see if I can crack it open. Give me a second, give me a second. We're putting this on, on the interior of the car. Let's, let's go to the interior. So we're going to be basically putting this carbon fiber like I, this is basically this is called 7d carbon fiber wrap possibly like the best wrap and, and this is again this is from what i saw the best wrap you can like buy um it's not like the other looking you know the cheap type looking you know carbon fiber wrap that that you know you could tell that it's fake kind of thing this isn't like that as you guys can see like in the light you see that this is like the best <laughs> I think you can get when it comes to uh, carbon fiber wrap. So I'm doing something with the center console that uh, I'm hoping that I can pull it off. Um, just because from what I saw with people saying about the, the actual wrap itself, it's a, it's a pretty difficult medium to work with. This particular one, is, you know, specifically. Um, because it's carbon and the way you use wrap is you apply heat and then you stretch it so this one you really i mean it's it's if you want to keep the integrity of the wrap and make it look the way it's supposed to look uh you're gonna have issues um with the wrap looking just too stretched out and not looking like carbon fiber so i'm hoping put it like this if this <laughs> if this video goes up and you see this then i actually was able to get it to work and get it to fit the way i wanted it to fit if it doesn't go up then hey <laughs> there <laughs> you know what i mean so what i'm going to be doing is pulling pulling this all off pulling you know this whole center console off i'm going to be taking off this piece because i want that obviously to be uh carbon um and i'm just going to pull it all off this is pretty easy to come off you you lift up the the, the armrest and then you pull it off the biggest thing is getting the uh the shifter off so you gotta just pull this down i basically the same processes of what i did when i put in the uh the radio um you know take this off there's a little cotter there's not really a cotter pin it's like a, um actually what's funny is i lost the actual pin when i did the radio so i had to go to advance and basically in the old school car you know the little wind wind up window clips it's the same actual clip that goes into here literally and it was a it was a pack of like i think it was like eight or nine in, inside the pack and i was mad too because i was like i pulled it off and that shit flew and i couldn't find it at all so that was the frustration dealing with this damn shifter when it came to that damn pin because it was it's so tensioned you know what i mean but anyway i'm talking too much so you just take this off pull this off the way you would normally pull off uh the pin probably get something maybe like a needle nose and pull it out because your fingertips if you don't got fingernails or whatever it's, it's going to be a, you know crazy to take that off and I'm pull gonna agitate i'm gonna agitate this is still the alcohol mind you i'm gonna agitate the uh okay i mean oh shit i thought okay maybe i was wrong about the uh that was wrong it's coming off yo oh wow yeah that came off yo i can't believe that okay i'm over here i'm preparing to go to war with the damn console like okay i gotta scrape all this off i gotta do this and do nah look at that and that's all just from this moving you know fucking crazy like this you know when i'm shifting that's all scratches. That's all round scratches. That actual nasty dirt stuff came off, yo. Oh man, okay. Say less. <laughs> yeah, how strong is this? Is this acid? How strong is this goddamn? Op because that thing was, that was hard. You know what I'm saying? This, 
fucking acid in this goddamn alcohol. Alright, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna clean this interior because that looks crazy. I'm gonna clean all that out. I'm gonna try to take off this flap um, just to clean out that. I'm, I don't wanna bore you guys with the, uh, the cleaning of this. But just know soap and water and apparently acid would be, <laughs> I mean, alcohol would be the thing you wanna clean off with this. Um, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. Um, if you do, if, if you do have an issue with this and you see it dirty and it's not coming off, you know, like I was going to use a really like high grit. I don't know. What's this? Uh, what is this? 320? Yeah. Something like that. This is, yeah, this feels like it's gritty enough. This is, yeah, this is 320. Yeah. Um, maybe even go a little bit more aggressive. Probably, uh, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that aggressive. God damn it. Nah, yeah, around 320 is fine. This, this feels nice. That, that way you don't get like super, super deep scratches and it just kind of agitates the surface and wet sand it, you know? So if you want to spray alcohol on it, that's, that's just, you can put that and just wet sand what you see and then go from there. That's what I would do. So let me go ahead and take this off and where I can properly get to the interior of this. And this actually, look at this, it actually sticks. So that's why I know it's dirt and all kinds of shit inside it. So let me go ahead and fix this up properly. And we can go from there. And I'll, when I come back, you guys will see it all detached. All right, who would have thought that it was like so much parts <laughs> for this damn son of console? So I got all the screws, got everything here, cleaned off all this, detached all this. Um, this I'm not taking off because that shit just looks like too many parts just for this. So I'll, I'll wrap that like that. Um, this is kind of the same thing, even though the screws are right here on the side, but I don't want to like unscrew that and mess with the mechanism that opens, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to mess with that. Finally got this off. I'm going to still, I got some more scraping and cleaning to do on here. Um, you know, kind of get to the as best look as I possibly can with it. And then after that, I'll start the wrapping process. So there we go. All right, guys. So I took off the, um, I'll tell you right now I took off remember the cover for this the little flap that you press the button I said screw it took it off um, made it a little more easier for me as you can see um, I mean it's I mean I ain't, I ain't even really pressed down on it yet I pressed down on the, the top part I put a little bit of a the alcohol solution on there any any you know you can use water or whatever I just had that handy because it's in a spray bottle um, and pressed it down. I haven't even like formed the uh, the sides yet. I haven't used the uh, heat gun yet, but um, yeah. And and the key is because I want all of them to be like going in the you know same direction. So the key is to make it look like it's seamless and like it's OEM. You know what I'm saying? So so far that's coming out good. When I'm done with it and I cut it off, like I cut off the edges and everything, and it's all perfect, I pop the camera on back again for you guys.
All right, guys. <clears throat> so this is the, you know, the flap. <laughs> I think it came out pretty good. I mean, it looks like, like it's wrapped in actual carbon fiber. You guys tell me in the comments what you think. I mean, this is like my first time using this type of wrap. Matter of fact, <laughs> uh, is this the first wrap that I'm, I, I can't even think if it was the first wrap that I was doing, but this is definitely one of the major wraps um, that I think I've done. Damn, did I, did I do a wrap? I can't even remember if I did. My memory is so, so screwed up, but yeah. To me, this is the first rap I ever did, like that I actually got serious about and wanted to really get it. Now, here's another thing you gotta understand. Some people may be like, oh, why are you using alcohol on the surface? Thing is, this has a, an actual cover. Like, let me show you guys. This wrapping actually has a protective. <laughs> so it has a protective uh, filament, you know, that covers the actual, so, I don't, know if you, I don't know if we can let you see it. Let me kind of get the glare out. So, yeah. So that's the the wrap there. I mean, it's still shiny. It's just that it has a protective coat so that when you do use any type of solvents or whatever, it doesn't scuff up the actual uh, carbon fiber piece. Now, I may actually still leave this on just because if you guys saw the way the... Uh, the console, the center console was, I mean, that's scratched up, scuffed, everything. So I think I'm gonna leave the protective uh, screen on um, and just kind of clean it, you know, with, with, you know, as I'm doing this, cause I'm leaving little streak marks, I'm just gonna wipe it with, you know, the soap and water rag and just kind of clean it up and leave it like that. If it does get to a point where they start getting scratched up, I don't have to worry about the wrap getting scratched up. You know, the actual cover is just gonna be scratched up. And then at that point, if it's too bad, and it's too much of an eye, so I'll take it, you know, and peel it off. But yeah, yo, I think that looks kind of good. I'm gonna I'm connect it to the uh, the piece that it's supposed to go on and show you guys where the, uh, you know, where I usually put my change and everything at. So I'm gonna connect that and show you guys now. All right, guys, so I finally put it together. I'm loving how that's looking. Like, dead serious loving how that's looking. Like I told you guys before, I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna take off the protective film. Um, just for obvious reasons, you know, of the whole, you know, you know, you don't know what's gonna hit your keys. I put my key, you might put your keys on the center console, pull it too quick and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? So until something happens to the protective screen or if I see too many scratches or too many whatever, you know, I take it off then. It's real simple. Take a blade, pick it up and that's it. You can pull it off like I showed you guys in another part of the video. But I like that. I like, it's, it's dope. Like it looks like a real, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit was dipped, hydro dipped or something. But that's just me. Maybe it's just, <laughs> maybe it's just me bigging myself up a little too much. But y'all let me know in the comments how I did, man. Guys, <laughs> remember when I pulled this off and I was like, I was thinking I had to take off this entire damn assembly. Yo, this like literally, it's clipped onto the plastic on, on the piece. I just popped it off. Yo, I, so yeah, I'm just doing this. I didn't have to take off this entire thing. I just had to unclip it from the, move, moving on, moving on. All right guys, so I'm at the part where I'm gonna start doing my relief cuts. All right, so relief cuts is basically a terminology used to take less strain off of one section. So for instance, you cut here because this is a bend. If you were to add the heat gun and pull this down, you're gonna get creases. You're gonna get like strong, strong creases unless you straight up just drag it down. And again, I told you guys, I don't wanna do that with this carbon fiber wrap. Any other wrap, you can probably do it with, except for uh, the, the metallic wrap. But this, you wanna put a relief cut in here, fold it down, and then come through the backside right here. Like come, you, you'll see. Actually, let me do it right now for you guys. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do this side. This is more like ready, more or less. So because I know the corner is right here, you're gonna get off the edge for a little bit, slice that right in, that's a relief cut. So now I can fold, see I, see I did that? I don't know if you guys can see it. Fold that in and then now I can bring this down and then pull, you know, add some heat and then pull that in. So the, the crease, 
you may have a little bit of a crease, so it's kind of inescapable, especially dealing with corners. All right, guys, so here we go. Got it in there. I, mean, I think I did pretty good. No, no cap though, this, um, the smaller pieces, like this was harder than the medium sized piece that I did. I guess because of how small it is and how like, you know what I'm saying? Intricate the, the, the corners are, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I did what I could. I think I did a pretty good job with it. It looks, the whole, the only, the whole thing about this is just trying to make it look OEM. And I mean, I think I'm, doing a fairly good job. If I need to go back over with the heat gun, which I probably may have to do it right there. putting in relief cuts. So I'm putting in relief cuts here. I'm gonna fold this down, pull that with the heat gun. Same thing here, I'm gonna put some more, uh, actually I'm gonna probably trim this part off so it can come down on here and then flap it in like that. You know what I'm saying? And again, once you have the heat to it, it's a little more malleable that you can be able to kind of do it without having any creases like this right here. You know, that wants to crease up if I go this way. You see that little crease that happens? See what I'm saying? So what you do is you flap it this way. You know what I'm saying? That way you can get a nice round edge across that. Another thing that I'm noticing, um, my idea of keeping on the protective plastic may not work. I don't know as of yet. I know you guys are probably in there a little triggered that I'm leaving the protective uh you know, coating thing on. Um, but I just, I, I really, just for me, because obviously you saw the condition that the, the Sun and console was in. So what I, again, I need that just for protection, because you never know, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, you never know, got kids in the car and you know, they, they can't sit down and they just, you know what I mean? You just never know, you know what I'm saying? You just never know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this, you know, clean this up figure out this relief edge right here at the top but to be honest man i mean i'm i'm not even gonna front i'm like surprised that i was able to actually get this to work sometimes it just take for you to just say f it right and just do it like i i mean i got the i got the the, the wrap in pretty early but again it just sometimes you just got to get up off your ass and just do it all right, guys, I'm pretty pretty happy with how I was able to put it together. Um, I did some relief edges on this side here. This side was a little bit of a problem, but I mean, I, I was able to get it to work as best I can. Um, some more relief edges here. I tried to, to keep the, the plastic, guys, because of how much curves and insides and the heat and everything, like, it's just not possible. So this is coming off. Again, it doesn't, I mean, it looks, well, there's a bit of a, cause this, the, the plastic is a little more blue, like a tinge. 
So, you know, I guess now you'll be able to see the, uh, the full wrap. I'm taking off all the plastic. Just know anybody get in my car, keep your damn hands to yourself. Don't put your hands on my, on my center console. I want you to be basically standing up while you're sitting down in my car. Keep your hands to your left and right. Because if you scratch this, <laughs> you will be needing some Uber or bus fare, whatever the hell you need to get to the crib. But I'm going to take off the rest of the plastic. As you guys can see, this is the uh, side that still has the plastic on. This is the side that doesn't. I don't know if you can see a difference. You guys let me know. This the side, no plastic. I just ripped it off. This side still has the plastic. That pack is a lot more smoother than this side, to be honest with you. Yeah, see, this is more so smoother than that. But whatever. It's coming off anyway, but y'all let me know. So. Oh, and also, you know, this this was pretty easy. Once I was able to get this is for the uh the button for the um what you call it, hazard lights. I mean, I was able to stick my finger like perfectly in this hole and put the relief cuts. And that was it. Like, this was perfect. So I think it looks pretty old. Let me put it all together for you guys. Oh, I, fuck, I still have this piece to do. So let me do this piece, um, which I think should be quick. Shouldn't be too much to have to deal with. So let me do this and I'll put it all together for you guys so you guys can see how it's going to really look. No cap though. I mean, I... What y'all think? Maybe leave it like that. Or wrap it in the carbon. You know what I'm saying? Leave it just like that. Have the, you know, this piece that goes here, keep that there carbon. And just leave that, you know, the silver. I'm not, I think because of the contrast, I think this will actually look good without the, uh, the wrap. I think it'll look good without the wrap. And it's funny because that's the easy, this probably is gonna be the easiest one to wrap, but it, I don't know what y'all think, man. I think that look, I think the contrast, because there's so many parts that are, so many parts that are already carbon fiber, like even the damn cigarette ashtray, which I never use, because I don't smoke like that. Like even that is carbon fiber. The part here that you press the button on, that's carbon fiber. Now what's crazy, I was gonna, I was gonna make this little piece carbon fiber, but I want to leave that, I want to leave that alone, because I want that to kind of. God, I'll be able to get this in there perfectly, but yeah, I want that to kind of be silver. Hmm. Like imagine that being silver and this being silver. You know what I'm saying? So, as you guys see, um, I lost a little bit of daylight. It's, it's uh, I, that, and that's really because I started like four o'clock in the afternoon doing this. So, uh, I want to wait till the morning so we can have like proper light. I have light in the garage, but it's like ugly light, and I don't want to put my my ring light. Um, like I don't want to be lugging it in the garage just to just to show you guys. So, this is out Friday anyway. So, what I do is in the morning. I'll take some nice beauty shots with it installed in the actual car. And from there, uh, you guys can see what I did. All right, guys, here's the, uh, the finished wrapping. Um, let me start turning the light on. That's kind of how it looks right there. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it came out pretty good. Guys, again, let me know whether I should, you know, <clears throat> undo these and put the at least, I mean, they're not connected, but at least I can put the uh, the the heated button for the sides. I mean, again, they're not going to be connected. So if you think it's just, it's, it'll look good with just having the, uh, the, you know, the switch on them and just keeping it like OEM or whatever, even though they don't work. But let me know. I think deleting them is, you know, it's aesthetically, it just gives it more 
space but then again you know most people like the oem look i, I didn't try it but i can if, if you think it'll look better so i think it came out pretty good man i really do think it came out pretty good <clears throat> and this is like my first time using this type of high grade carbon fiber wrap you know what i'm saying came out really well look at that I just thought it would have been overkill to put this in carbon as well but you never know i might try it at least with one of the uh i have like a, a piece that was about this size anyway i could have you know put it together and see how it, how, it, how it would have looked but i don't know i don't know you guys let me know again this is going to get done the same way because obviously i wanted to look flush with it but the only difference is i don't want to take all this shit off again and knowing i don't have the radio yet the new radio this is still the same trash radio that i got in here so when i get the new radio in then i'll take this off and cover the metro kit um everything you see here the metro the side pieces the this flap the whole nine yards i'll put it in the same wrap i think i think this will look dope as shit having this whole thing in carbon fiber wrap you know what i'm saying and all the parts you know what i'm saying they all do what they do you know they all do it you know it's not like it's stock i think i did a pretty good job on this i'm not even gonna, i'm not even gonna front <laughs> Like, this is my first time using this high-grade carbon fiber wrap, and I was just like, yo, I don't know how this is going to come out. You know, there are certain parts, like on the car that you don't see, that I had to kind of stretch. But I've seen this same type of stretching when somebody, like, tries to hydro dip, you know, pieces and stuff like that. You get that same kind of, like, odd stretch effect on certain parts especially coming from a corner like this it has to stretch up and, and it just kind of loses a little bit of shape just on this corner not nothing over here like nothing over here it's, it's all dope but just on the corner right here this little part which is going to be covered by the knees and a little bit over here but nothing that's going to really like oh my god you know what i'm saying it's really just super super small little stretch that i had to do over there and i think that came out really dope i think it came out dope that's just me um but again again this is it right here i think i think it came out good you saw the the b-roll that i did of it um so i'm hoping you guys like that uh what else can i say um i don't know i'm gonna i guess i'll close out the video with this video um so i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh you know if you have any comments let me know again let me know if you think i should leave that uh seat warmer delete wrap over it or pop them out fix them in there and put it in to make it look OEM. Again, personally, I still live in Florida, but I don't really need, you know what I'm saying, the heating, heated seats. That's just crazy to have in Florida. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know what's going on, what you feel with that. If you like the content, if you, if you learned something from this, it just makes sense to just go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and like the video while you at it. Um, that way you don't have to remember, oh, that guy that does G35 videos. Let me go ahead and go back to his videos. Just go ahead and like it, hit that notification bell. That way you guys can be notified of when I'm posting, you know, my content. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, be grateful, laugh, love, smile behind that mask. And with all that being said, stay driven. One.